Hi, Hannah. Hi, Jay. Nice to see you. <laughs> Where is the buzz? I love that title of your show. It's great. Isn't it great? I love it too. It's so <laughs> nice to meet you. I want to say congratulations. This show is so great. I was watching, obviously, some of the screeners, and I just think that this is such a fun show. I think that you guys have a hit on your hands. Talk to oh, me a little right. bit about what it was like having the opportunity to work with such a talented cast. You know, cast is where it's at. I, I have a mantra I start every day saying, script and cast, script and cast, script and cast. The scripts have to be great, and they were. The showrunners handed me seven great scripts, and I, I knew they were writing an eighth, and I so fell in love with the characters. Patricia was already attached, so that was easy. Um, but I, they said, would you do one? And I said, uh, how about I do eight? <laughs> and they said, okay. <laughs> so um, I just fell for it. Uh, there's something about the writing, something about going home to the desert. I grew up in the desert in Albuquerque, New Mexico, which is, ha has a community actually called High Desert there. So for me, it was a, a return to something that I not only was familiar with, but had always been inspired by and scared of a little bit. The desert is intimidating. You know, you can, you can uh, go out there and, and uh, get bit by a rattlesnake or you know, die of heat stroke or something. There's a great tension between the beauty and the danger. And that's what I thought would attract other cast. I was so delighted that, that Matt Dillon and, and Bernadette Peters and Warucha Opia and, and uh, Rupert Friend and you know, just on and on. Brad Garrett and Keir O'Donnell and, and uh, Christine Taylor. I mean, it just was, I just thought if we get thin, this many different forces involved and Peggy's trying to keep up with all of them and, and trying to sort of cross pollinate all their worlds, wouldn't that be fun to watch? Yeah, no, it's great. And I love that you were able to kind of like pay homage to, like you said, you grew up in the desert, you had that opportunity and that experience. Yeah. And I love that that kind of bled into your, to your career. And I also love your boldness Ooh. too, saying, how about I direct all of them? Um, <laughs> I love that. I'm a law student and I started taking photographs of cactuses. I just was just now, I've never talked about this before. My still mm -hmm. photography work early on was all cactuses. There was a big cactus garden at my college and it reminded me of home. And it was through photography that I finally decided to give up pre-law <laughs> and make, make TV <laughs> shows. And so the desert, the desert has always been my friend. And my final question to you, Jay, is what do you think that the audience is going to connect with when they see this series? What do you think that they're going to walk away yeah. talking about? You know, I, I think it's a, a good time for this show because we all go through so many hard times and, and you know, the world is so crazy and there's, and there's, there's so many ways you can get tripped up and get addicted to something or, or, or you know, lose yourself in grief. And what I love about the show is that Patricia's character in particular never gives in to that. She, she's knocked down so often. She's like a cartoon character like Bugs Bunny or, or Roadrunner or something. You, you can knock her down repeatedly and she always gets up and surprises you and is more loving, more joyful, more uh, inspiring, and more, she becomes your muse, you know, uh, in ways you never saw coming. And so I think it, I hope you can lose yourself and, and, and sort of escape into something that makes you feel good about, you know, where you're at, but also reminds you to give other people a second chance. You know, they might disappoint you, as she does a lot of people in her world, but they, if you give them another chance, they might uh, step up and save you or delight you or, or inspire you to be a better version of yourself.